Walking into the TWA terminal at JFK Airport is like a voyage back into a time capsule. This terminal opened in 1962. The man who designed it never lived to see it. Eero Saarinen, a famed Scandinavian designer, created it. His builder said, "What? Well, how do we do this? And he said, I don't know. Here are the plans. Just do it. TWA's Transworld Flight Center at New York International Airport. It was a glamorous jet age time, and TWA represented the center of all of that excitement in the 60s. It's such a sexy, curvy building. It's like it's like a woman's body. It's, it's beautiful. It's amazing. And I really, really hope that they preserve the original integrity of this building. Only one day a year is the public allowed inside this terminal. And no matter where you walk, you hear a lot of great stories about the famed past of TWA. It was like walking down the red carpet and walking into a different world because it was so into the space age. It was a very glamorous era in the 60s. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor, I knew by, we were on a first name basis. Yes, you never know who you'd run into with the famed TWA terminal. Hey, hey, that guy's not a real pilot. The terminal has been open for movie productions. Hello. Hi, are you deadheading? What? Excuse me, you do know this terminal has been closed since 2001 when TWA went bankrupt. <laughs> Though the building's been closed for over 14 years, it's been landmarked, so it could not be destroyed. And now, in a major deal, it will be a hotel, but it will keep the shell of the TWA building as a lobby. All those stories you imagined were true, and then some.